Okay, it's time to create some uh, side panels to our chassis. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to select the uh, this uh, plane on the left side of my chassis. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to click Sketch, and I'm going to view this uh, normal to my sketch plane. Okay, this is the right side. So <clears throat> I need to sort of make this. I'm going to do sort of a wedge shape. So let me grab my line tool this time instead of the rectangle. I'm going to go from this front edge. I'm going to build this on top of my chassis plate. Last time I kind of set my next one behind it, but I'm not looking to make this any wider. So I'm going to build it on top of it. So I can just start taking my line tool. I'm going to go ahead and wake that point up so I can drag it over here. There we go. Click. I'm going to make this sort of uh, trapezoid shape. Now here's where I have my wheel cut out. Uh, so you can see I've got this little edge here. So I'm going to kind of give myself a little space for my wheel right here. I'm going to wake up this edge here so I can be completely vertical with it. Just like that. If you completely enclose the whole thing, then it will go shaded. Uh, if it doesn't shade in that space, then you know that you actually haven't created an enclosure. I do sell some blue lines, so I'm not completely... Uh, dimensioned or constrained. Let me select my dimension tool. How tall do I need this wheel? Well, uh, I think it should maybe be a little taller than that. Let's try three centimeters. That looks okay. I can always come in and uh, adjust that height if I need to, depending on when I insert my wheels, what they look like. Actually, I'm going to make it a little bit taller. Let's make it five. Oh, that's definitely too much. This is a nice thing about CAD. You can just quickly eyeball some things on the fly and see it change fast. The other thing I need to do is I need to uh, define uh, how far back this wedge goes. So from this point to this point, I'm gonna do a, the difference horizontally. So we've got seven, I'm gonna make that eight centimeters, push it back a little bit. There we go. Now that I've got that sketch, I'm gonna highlight where I wanna extrude. I'm still gonna use my three eight in thick, inch thick uh, HTPE, but you can see here that it is extruding in the wrong direction for how I want this to get built. So I'm going to flip this arrow backwards. It's right here, opposite direction. I'm going to change this to 3 8 inch. Remember to set inch if you're working in centimeters, you need to tell it if it's inch. And it's a new piece. I'm not adding it on to any pieces I have. I'm going to click the green check, and here it is. There it is. Now you could create the exact same thing on the other side. If you know it's going to be identical, there's also a great option here to uh, mirror. So you see there's a tool here called mirror. And the way I built this, it's symmetrical about these axes here, this right axis. So that's convenient for me. I can select mirror. It wants me to select the entity to mirror. So that's the part that is this part right here. I can select it there, or I can select it down here, part three. It wants me to select a mirror plane. So what it's going to mirror it across, I'm going to mirror it across this center plane here. And you'll see that it mirrors over to the other side. I'm going to click the green check mark. Now I've actually got both of these. Now keep in mind, although I'm building this sort of here in this part studio, I'm not actually assembling it. So uh, I'm building it in this way so I can see how it looks relative to each other and so I can use their dimensions. But I am still going to need to assemble this in an assembly later. There are some shortcuts if I do that right. But uh here we go. I'm starting to get this chassis dimensioned. Okay. I think the last thing I'm going to do here in this video is add a top uh, panel. So I'm going to click, create a sketch. I'm going to use this top plane. Let me view it from the top. I'm going to use a corner to corner rectangle from here down to here. That's fully constrained. Click the green check. Highlight all the areas I want to extrude. Click the extrude button. Let me view it from an angle here so I can see it. This should be a new extrusion, three eighths of an inch thick. Actually, you know what? I might use for this top panel. I might use only quarter inch thick because I'm not going to be screwing into this panel. You'll see as I kind of do my my screw holes later. I'm going to use quarter inch thick uh, HTPE. So one quarter inch here on the top. It doesn't need to be as thick. And green check mark. There we go. I'm really starting to get this. It's starting to look almost like a sumo bot. 
All right, see you in the next video.